Oh my god, hi! Uh, so it's been a little while. Um, if you are new here, my name is Teal Garcia. On this channel, we talk about everything related to photography, and it's been a while. I think the last video I recorded was a year ago, probably. Quick life update, we have moved again. Uh, we're still in Arizona, but we've moved again. Now I actually have a space for an office and a place to record, so I'm good with that. So I am back. Hopefully I can get back to posting at least a video a week. Um, I do work full time now, so I am going to try and film when I can. Uh, goal is a video a week. So if you have any video ideas, go ahead and throw them my way. I needed to get on here today and make a video, this first little video back, uh, because we need to talk about the blurry photo trend. I don't know what this is, if I'm being honest. I don't know how I feel about it. So the trend that I'm talking about is taking blurry photos intentionally. Yes, there is room to have an out of focus photo in your gallery to a customer, whether it be their wedding, a portrait session, whatever, there's room for a blurry photo that you still feel like is artful and evokes some kind of emotion. However, that seems to have gone overboard a little bit. So if you are not newer to photography and you are, you've probably been in the game maybe four or five years, you know that Part of like the biggest thing, the biggest goal of learning photography, learning how to use your camera has always been getting them sharp photos, right? I cannot tell you how many times I've been asked, even how many videos I've done here on YouTube about getting sharp photos, right? Like that's what everyone wants. You wanna nail your focus. You want your subject to be super crispy sharp, super nice blurry background. You want like that is, that's always been the goal. So this new goal of shooting blurry photos is weird to me. Um, it that's like I don't. I it is again. This is my opinion. I'm not bashing anyone who does this. However, I do think that this is going to be a trend, a short-lived trend, because I know it's kind of 50/50 split. A lot of the newer photographers like it. A lot of clients like it. Again, throw a couple in there. Don't do their whole session blurry. But I think that it's going to be up there with selective color, um, muted greens, matte, muddy black edits. It's going to be a trend. It's going to be something that somebody's going to look back on in 10 years and go, why are all my wedding photos blurry? Like, I can't see how happy my husband is during our first dance because the photos are blurry. Again, I'm not saying that you want blurry photos at your wedding. Every single photo is blurry. But like, why any of them be blurry? If you ask me, like why? I don't know. I just don't understand it. Again, I have a few photos that I've taken through my time doing this and they are blurry. However, I don't, I don't like them because they're blurry. I like them in spite of them being blurry, if that makes sense. So um, there's one that I can think of off the top of my head that I absolutely love. Uh, I was taking pictures of my daughter when we lived in Hawaii. I was taking pictures of her jumping through the sprinkler and the camera focused on the water instead of her. So you get the water droplets and then she's blurry in the background. I love that photo. That photo is at work on my desktop as my background. I love that photo. So again, I love it in spite of it being blurry. It like almost like makes the photos. So, but there's fifth for that one blurry photo, there's 15, 20 that are super crispy sharp. She's sharp and the water droplets are blurry and that's kind of what the goal was. So I'm not saying there is not room for blurry photos. It is the, I don't know. I don't even know without, with the risk of repeating myself, I just, think that it's, I think that it's a little, it's a little trendy. That's all. I just don't. So I just don't think it's, I don't think it's going to last. I think people will end up regretting those photos. I think that if you print those, that beautiful engagement session that your photographer did and you love the blurry photos and you put those on your save the dates, 
your grandma's just going to think they got printed weird. Um, I don't know. It's, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to understand it. And again, I know that art is different in everyone's eyes, but I'm standing behind this is a trend and we're going to look back going, what the hell? Like so specifically like selective color. So I found this article on the knot um, after I filmed the video and it just, it definitely talks about the trend a lot, but like there's a lot of examples in here of people's wedding photos that are blurry and it gives you tips on how to take a blurry photo, which again, some of them are cute if one to two percent of your wedding photos look like this fine but some of them just like that one right there that one that just looks like they missed focus and they're like hmm, call it a trend call it on purpose that again it's just like I teach people about shutter speed and how to get crispy photos when I teach and this just like blows it all out of the water throw that shutter speed low and just go for it I don't know. I definitely feel like it's something people are going to regret. Like we all can nail when selective color was popular, like early 2000s. We all, you see a photo like that, you know exactly when that photo was taken. And I just don't, I don't know. I'm more of a classic, sharp, true colors, rich photos and rich colors. That's the kind of photographer I am because I don't feel like those photos are ever going to... Sure, what you're wearing might go out of style, but the photos themselves are not going to go out of style. So I feel like that should be the goal. When you're giving somebody photos, that's the goal. That should be the goal is for them to look back on them in 20 years and go, dang, these are still great photos. So... Anywho, that's my two cents on that. I am happy to be back. If you have any video ideas, leave them in the comments. Leave me what you think about blurry photos in the comments. Are you doing them? Are you not doing them? What team are you on? Are you for or against blurry photos? Let me know. Um, again, short video. Mostly just wanted to say hi. And that's all I have for this. And I will see you next time. Bye.